I can't believe my car was stolen. Who gets their car stolen? <laughs> We're back! Did you miss me? Guys, I have been gone for so long. I'm so sorry. But she's back. We're back. Babe's back. Babe is big chillin'. Are you guys ready for the craziest story time yet? It might not even be that crazy. It is crazy that it happened to me. It's gonna be the story time of my car getting stolen. And that is pretty much why I have been MIA for three months because my car was busy being stolen. If you guys are new here, if this is your first video from me, I'm sorry, but welcome. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because you know what? That helps me. Make sure you watch this video four times because I got a new car to buy, okay? And I need I need the money from you guys watching it. So yeah, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell next to it so you know when I upload. But we will be back to regular scheduled program, which is me uploading every single Thursday. So make sure you guys are following me on all my social medias as well so you can be updated on my literal crazy life. Like, I wish I could make this stuff up. So I will have my Instagram right here and then my TikTok right here. So make sure you're following your girl on both of those I'm on those two the most and we're just gonna get right into it I did this kind of as a story time slash get ready with me honestly buckle up I don't know what to tell you this story is crazy but yeah enjoy I'm sweating already let's get this story time started while we do our makeup wow this is actually not from Taco Bell I'm just using a Taco Bell cup this is a Shirley Temple yeah! if you know if you know my story times, we have to have the Shirley Temple. Um, also, I will have all the products linked down below because this video is not really about getting ready with me. Let's start this freaking story of how I got my car stolen. I wish I was making this up. I wish this was for clickbait. I wish this wasn't my real life. But you know what? If you've been here, if you're a loyal subscriber, I look crazy, I know. By the end of this, it will look not crazy. People are like, yeah, she paints her face on. I'm like, no, literally, I paint my face on. It's okay. If you're a loyal subscriber, I, you know what? I don't understand how all these things can happen to me either. It's not really great for me, personally, but... And I'm gonna set the scene for you. So let's backtrack, let's say, what, two months ago maybe now? Two, three months ago-ish. This was a weird day already. It started off a super odd day because it was a day that I would normally be working all day. I would not be home, but I just happened to have the day off that day. So I was out running errands. I like had all these plans. I was supposed to go on a first date, which at that time I had not been on a first date in like months. So it was just a very like different day. Like the day could have been and went a different way. And you know what? It should have been, this should have been my sign that the first date I should have never went on, but that is a story for a different day and time. But yeah, that was definitely partly the universe, I think. I mean, like, bitch, no first date for you. And so I wake up early. I remember I went to Target because I always pick up my groceries from Target. So I'm picking up groceries from Target. Extremely early, I'm going to Starbucks. I come home. I'd say I got home and it was only like 10 a.m. maybe because I have my date later. I was like, let me do my nails. And I had plans to work out with my friend evening. I'd say around like, I think we had plans at like three-ish. So I'm in my apartment. I'm doing my nails. I am rocking out to Taylor Swift's album, vibing. I'm having an amazing time. I'm having a great day. About time for me to go work out with my friend. So I'm texting her. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am about to leave the house right now. I walk outside my apartment and mind you it is the middle of the freaking day and i was just in my car a couple hours ago i have assigned parking spots where i live so my car is always parked in the same spot but i walk out and i'm like where is my car and i'm looking and i'm like looking around and i'm trying to think of the last time i was in my car because it's not like the first thought that i was like oh yeah i was just at target and i'm just like where where did i park my car and then every once in a while if like maintenance is in my spot or like something there's like a moving truck or something you know like i won't park in my spot so i'm trying to think i was like did i park not in my spot for some reason and i'm thinking i'm like no i parked in my spot because i was just at target and as i'm like going through this in my brain i look where my car would have been and there's just a pile of glass where my like back passenger window would have been at and it hits me and i go no 
way my car was just stolen there's no way my car was stolen but it appears that my car was stolen so immediately without even thinking i call my friend that i was supposed to hang out with and i was like girl my car is stolen and she's like what i'm not crying yet i don't even think i fully processed anything at this time and she's like oh my god what do we do? i'm like i don't know what to do she's like let me let me call my dad like i'll be right over and as she's saying this the process is that i should call my dad um so i call my dad of course he's not answering then i call like his girlfriend i call my grandpa finally my dad calls back and i get a hold of him at this point as i'm telling my dad it is processing finally i am like sobbing i'm dry and heaving i like can't catch my breath i was like I have never felt this way from being like in distress. I was like, dad, I'm gonna puke. And he's like, no. I was like, I'm gonna throw up, I can't, I'm gonna puke. Anyway, so he's on the phone with me, he's like, you need to call the police. And I was like, okay. I was like, like 911. And he's like, yeah, like they probably have a like a phone number. And I was like, like, how do I know the phone number? He's like, well, if you call 911, they'll direct you. And I was like, do I call 911 or the police? Like, I don't know what to do. He's like, so anyway, whatever. I finally get myself under control. I call the police. By the time I'm on the phone with the police, my friend is pulling up to where I live. And thank God for her. Literally, shout out to her. She was the best through the whole experience. But thank God for her for just sitting there with me because I feel like I would have gone insane if I was like, if she was not there. At this point, I'm just sitting in my empty parking space next to the glass, like just sobbing in the middle of the day. Like, where are all my neighbors? Where were my neighbors when this was happening? I don't understand still. Like, nobody saw this happen. This all happened in the middle of the day and anyway so whatever so I'm on the phone with the police they said they're gonna send someone they're like is it an emergency and obviously my brain wanted to be like yes bitch this is an emergency where is my car but it is not emergency because apparently that's not an emergency so I was like no it's not and so it took about an hour I'd say for the cops to show up and me and my friend are sitting there we're literally at this point like I'm going back and forth like have you ever seen in movies where they have the like main person they like just laugh at like the most not laughable times that was me like I was literally cracking jokes about how my car was getting stolen and then I would go from that into like sobbing into back to cracking jokes because I think I just my brain did not know how to absorb all this information I was like this cannot be real life finally we see a cop car pull up and so we kind of like wave him down and he's like oh no like there's another police coming like this one's for a different call and i was like was it for a car getting stolen like what was it for and he's like yeah it was a attempted break-in so they were just in my apartment complex trying to steal cars i guess they didn't steal the other person's car but they stole mine and mine is the only one they stole out of the whole entire apartment complex you're only gonna steal mine for real are you for real so he leaves literally five seconds later the other police show up they're asking questions they're like did you have any weapons whatever stuff like that was there anything valuable in the car all those whatever questions to make the police report then he goes into telling me He's like, yeah, so for your specific car, like this has been happening a lot more recently. It's literally a TikTok trend. They call themselves the Kia Boys. And also guys, this is, I'll probably have to bleep that part out. And I literally think the man is with me. I was like, there's no way. What are you talking about? This is a TikTok trend that they stole my car. I'd never heard of that. And he's like, yeah, so it's literally for Hondas and Kias. And I had a Hyundai Elantra. She was my baby. And um, anyway, whatever. So I'm making the police report. I'm literally laughing still with my friend trying to, then we're joking about the Kia boys. Cause like what in the, what, who in the hell? Then the apartment manager comes out. My apartment, she's kind of like, what's going on? So I tell her everything at this point because I have to say it out loud that my car was stolen. I'm crying again. Yeah, so from there, they get the report. My friend has the same exact car that I had. Uh, so we're freaking out. So I go with her because I literally didn't want to be home, but I have to call the insurance. I have to do all this stuff. So I'm with her. We end up getting a car steering wheel lock for her car because at this point we're like, your car is in danger, ma'am. I don't want you to be like me. I end up going to her house, talking with the insurance, which that was a whole different debacle. I don't really understand all that stuff to be having to talk to them. And that went on for like a whole month dealing with insurance. But you know what? I used to shit on insurance. I used to be like, you pay all this money every month. And for what? In case something happens. Maybe it happens once in your lifetime. You get in a car accident. No, bitch. Get insurance. If you don't have insurance, please go get insurance right now. 
I'm telling you, I love insurance. I'll forever have insurance for everything because that was the only lifesaver in this whole situation. So, oh, and before the cops leave, I asked them, I was like, so do you guys ever find the cars? And they're like, oh yeah, like we'll find it normally in like a couple days. And I'm, um, you know, I think they saw the excitement on my face and they go, but you know, it's normally like destroyed. And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, normally, you know, they just steal them to like do felonies in them and then they'll like wreck them or they'll sell them for parts. And I was like, all right, you just stole my joy. Any little bit that I thought I might get my car back is gone, ma'am. So at this point, I'm just waiting. I don't have a car. Um, I end up getting a rental car. And I'd say about a week goes by until I finally get a call from the police. And they tell me that they have found my car. They do not tell me where. They do not tell me how. They do not tell me who had the card? They tell me zero information. Here though, I'm so excited that they found my card. They don't tell me the condition of the car. They just go, they found it, and they go, this is the tow yard, you need to contact them, and they will have any more information on your car. So obviously I get to tow people's information, and um, when I call them, they also won't tell me anything. They're like, well you need to come down, we can't tell you anything over the phone. And they're like, and if you get here past five, we'll charge you more, and we're charging you by the day, we're charging you by the hour. And I was like, oh my God, I'm stressed. I have orientation at the same time getting these calls for my new job that I've started, and I'm just like, this is too much. Um, and they won't tell me if it's drivable, like they will tell me absolutely nothing. So at this point, I'm like, well, I gotta wait a couple days, and if they charge me, they charge me, like whatever. Let me finish my other. I'm gonna throw my lashes on, I'll be right back. Okay, don't worry. I know they look a little crazy. They'll look better in five seconds. So we go to this tow yard. It's sketch. It is in the sketchiest area. Um, we walk in. There's some lady yelling. We were like, what the hell is going on? But we have no choice. This is where my car is. Thank God my friend came with me. And I did actually not go alone. Because at first I was so like pressed to get my car. That I was like, I'm going to go late at night when I get off work. And my dad was like, no like there's no rush like your car is gonna be there i was like you're right i just feel like i need to go get it right now but even if i did and like what if it is drivable what am i gonna do anyway again they won't tell me why are my lashes looking like this <laughs> Okay. They, again, won't tell me anything. I was like, is it drivable? They're like, well, you have to go look at it. And I was like, okay. So I have to pay $50 just to go look at it. That's like not, if it is drivable, I would have had to pay like over a thousand just to even drive it off the lot. But anyway, so they're like, okay, you have to pay $50. I have no choice at this point because I need the photos for the insurance. And I mean, if it is drivable, $50 is whatever. At this point, take all my money. I give up. We end up going back there. Oh, they won't let my friend go back there. So I'm back there alone on this little, this guy drives me out on his little golf cart. My baby is smashed up. She's smashed. She is wrecked. She is not doing good. She is dead. She is a dead girl. They have pulled out underneath, which if you look up, boys, it will show you exactly how they do this. It is so fast and so easy and so stupid that even my dumbass could probably figure out how to do it. But um, yeah, they have pulled out underneath where the steering wheel is. That is all out. All the wires are out. Everything's out. They smashed the front of my car. They clearly ran into something. The front door won't open to my passenger or to the driver's seat. It won't open all the way because the way that it's like smashed in. They have destroyed the inside of my car. The seat covers were just like torn off i'm like why you don't want to sit on my seat covers for what um they've gone through i had resumes which this is so weird so in vegas if you do like bottle service and stuff for resumes you can do what's called a model card so i had model cards that had like photos of me which they stole which is gross anyway then my resumes are out they left the registration they left the what is it my plates on i had like these were little kids they did not steal it for parts like they literally just i don't know if they did any felonies or whatever the cops said but they definitely just joy rode around like they stole it to just joy ride like that's pretty much what it looked like there's literally blunt wrappers um swisher wrappers and then little gummy candy wrappers everywhere they drank all my water they did leave my laundry detergent so i was like but they stole my lululemon yoga mat i had two yoga mats in there they stole both of them rude so i don't even know what they stole like the thing is like i was only back there taking photos and then i took like 
whatever I could really find left, but like a lot of stuff, like I don't know. I don't know what I had in my car. Like I know that I didn't have anything actually important, which is good, but like even just little stuff, like I can't even remember everything that I had in my car because you just don't think about it. There was not even a way to even like try to run her. Like she was, she was a goner. I'll insert a photo. They killed her. For what? To smoke fight? You could have just returned it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have stole it, fucking did what you had to do, and then put it back. I would have been like, it's fine, y'all. It's fine. Everything's fine. Also, I just want to know why the police weren't doing it. Like, they just did nothing. I was like, don't you guys want to, like, do fingerprints? Don't you want to search for these people that stole my car? These little kids that stole my car? I don't know. I want something. I want to tell them how I feel, you know? I want you to find these people and I want to have a conversation with them. So anyway, yeah, it is a big thing. It is everywhere. It is not just in Vegas. So if you have a Hyundai, if you have a Kia, it's my public service announcement to get a car lock because this is the worst part about the whole entire incident, in my opinion, is that I had a car lock and it was not on. It was very much in my passenger seat, which they also took my car lock. I know for a fact they were laughing at me because I would laugh at me if I was a car thief and I stole somebody's car that had a car lock in their passenger seat because why would I not put it on? And if you watched my vlogs this vlogmas during winter, I talked about it. I talked about the car lock that I bought. I talked about how I was scared to get my car stolen. I definitely, in some messed up way, manifested getting my car stolen <laughs> because everybody knew. Even my dad, when I called him on the phone, was like, we were just talking about this. I was like, I know. Who gets their car stolen? Me, who's been talking about possibly getting my car stolen? Like, who even just thinks that their car's gonna get stolen? A bitch that's car is gonna get stolen in a month. Like, if I just put the car lock on, Maybe that wouldn't happen. It also makes me mad that I was awake in my apartment like five feet away. I could have looked out my window and I see my car. So it's like, how did I not see this going on? Anyway, yeah. So from there, it was more just dealing with insurance, um, having to buy a new car. And now I have a new car, which is not a Hyundai or a Kia because screw them. Hydra Hyundai's, Hydra Kia's, get car locks. Don't play around because they are really out here snatching these cars up. I now have cameras everywhere. And I would not wish this upon anyone. This is very, I would literally not wish it upon anyone that I even hate because this was traumatic. I have PTSD. Anytime I'm somewhere where I can't see my car, I'm like checking my GPS tracker that's now in my car because let me tell you something, this shit won't happen again. <laughs> also, I will have my Amazon storefront where I have all the, I now have two car locks on my car, a GPS tracker and a AirTag, and I just bought a dash cam. So I will have all that linked in my Amazon storefront down below if you guys want to check it out. If you, honestly, I didn't buy either one of those cars, but now I'm so terrified that I'm gonna have that stuff on my car always, so, I recommend it for everyone, but especially if you have a Hyundai or a Kia. So I bought my new car. She's a cutie. I am not going to be showing you her for my own sanity. Um, not that I think anyone would steal my car, but like I said, I have PTSD now, so I just don't want anyone to see it. I also got a bunch of cute things to decorate my car with that TikTok told me that I needed. So I will have all of that link down below as well. I got little cup holders, which are super cute. Air fresheners. I got a little mirror that goes on the main mirror that makes it like bigger and it's super cute to take photos with. I actually don't like it to drive with though, so I ended up taking that one off. Um, I wanna get the mirror that everyone has. It's like the little vanity mirror. What else did I get? I need to get seat covers still. And then I bought my 30 million car lock. That's pretty much the whole story time of my car getting stolen. Really not that exciting or fun story but it's just freaking wild i still am in shock i still cannot believe that that actually happened that is why i've been so mia on here it's not really a great excuse i feel like but i also like went through mentally obviously it's mentally a lot to get anything stolen to have to deal with insurance to have to go randomly buy a new car that you weren't expecting to have to go buy that was a lot but also just mentally was a lot of like 
I don't know. You always hear people say this when they get like someone breaks into their house or stuff. Like you just feel violated. And I feel like I never understood that feeling until this happened to me. Because like yes I felt violated in like a where's my car type of way. But I also felt violated in just like a I don't know how to explain it. Like a you realize how other things could happen so easily. If that makes sense. So I was very scared for a long time of like someone breaking into my house. Or like I had a like at first i was very scared that it was a targeted thing and once i found out i was like boy stuff i was like it's not targeted it's not like they were trying to steal my car i just had the card that they wanted you just realize i guess how easily things like that can happen to you when something like that happens to you so i was very scared for a long time everything like being in my car not being in my car being in my house not being in my house like everywhere i went i've already you guys know i feel like naturally i'm like paranoid of everything already i go to the grocery store i think someone's following me like i'm just paranoid like that so this made that so much more heightened and I feel like just now I'm like starting to feel normal again. Still maybe not totally with my new car because I'm still freak about it and I just think unfortunately I don't know that that one will go away ever. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's kind of where I've been for the past three months, like the longest three, two months. Longest break I really took from YouTube like ever, I think. But that's why I just felt like I needed me time. I started a new job. I was trying to, can we just, what are you doing, sweetie? I felt like I just needed to like get my mind back together. Like I just needed to get everything back on track. I was so just distraught. I don't, I don't really know a better word for it. But I feel better now that everything is kind of handled. I have a new car. Since it's kind of all handled, that first month of like driving a rental and dealing with insurance and handling everything like that was like so stressful that I couldn't even think about anything else. And then on top of it, feeling like fear all the time was not helpful in that case either. So it was just a whole mess. But anyway, yeah, buy yourself a steering wheel lock. Again, I will have a link down below. But I'm back. We will be doing our weekly vlogs. Please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. So I will have, again, my Instagram and my TikTok down below. I'm on those two the most. Yeah, we're back with weekly vlogs. We're back with uh, drive with me's because I have a car now. But anyway, we're back with all of the good things. If you guys have any special suggestions of videos that you want to see, let me know. But besides that, I will see you guys next Thursday. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,